What's up, YouTube? This is Beside Investing. So we just got in uh, news about HUD 8, and we'll get into that today. So uh, currently, Bitcoin is at, um, let's see, $56,400, and Ethereum is at 1800 Mining profitability is at $0.39 cents per day per terahash. Holy cow, that's huge. Okay, these guys are making a lot of money right now. So, right. Uh, before we get started, this is not financial advice. Please uh, do your own DD, invest safely, and uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, let's get into it. So let's look here. So HUT filed with Cedar and with the U.S. Uh, Securities Exchange. They filed a preliminary base shelf prospectus and registration statement. So uh, this shelf uh, prospectus and registration statement when made final or effective will allow HUD-8 to offer up to 500 million Canadian dollars of common shares. Now 500 million dollars of Canadian would be about 394 million, so 395 million, uh, U.S. dollars minus the 43 U.S. million dollar uh, fee. So, right. And let's see. So, and common shares, data securities, subscription receipt warrants, commodable securities units, or any combination thereof from time to time during the 25-month period that the shelf prospectus is effective. So, this gives them really uh, pretty much the flexibility to do whatever they want. Uh, so the next time they use this uh, fund, they uh, decide to use it. They don't have to file. They don't have to put out news like public offering. Uh, it's happening at this, this price. They're just going to do it. And most likely they're just going to give out a final statement like oh, we've done this with private or public uh, offering at this this so and uh, that's t within the 25 month period and uh, the specific terms of any future offering will be established in prospectus supplement to the shelf prospectus which supplement will be filled with the applicable Canadian securities regulatory authorities and the SAC SEC so so this is a deal, I believe. If we go down here, this gives a condensed. Right, so this gives a US uh, slash Canada multi-jurisdictional disclosure system. So that's uh, right there. And uh, let's see. So the registration files, I mean, it's not effective, uh, effective yet. So the securities may be sold, nor may be no many offers to buy become uh, accepted prior to this time of the registration. Statement become effective. This press release shall not constitute an offer to sell, or the solic solic solicitation of an offer to buy, or, nor shall there be any sale of these securities in any province, state, or jurisdiction in which such offer, solic solicitation, or sale would be unlawful prior to the registration or qualification under the securities law of any such province, state, or jurisdiction. So, uh, you can check out the full document here with the U.S. Uh, Form F10 here at the U.S. Uh, SEC. Uh, it's a long article right here. It's a long form. You can check it out uh, under uh, sec.gov and through the Canadian side, you can check it out at Cedar, and you can go under HUT, and you can look at the new release, March 10, the latest release. Right, so this also is kind of like um, preparation for a uh, the NASDAQ listing. So with this news currently, the stock is kind of down at the moment, but not as much. It's only 2 3%. And it's an 
really good opportunity right now to buy Hut 8 before they release the news of um, any big order or any um, the Nasdaq listing. Now, we don't know which, when it's going to happen. It could be within a few weeks. It could be next month. It could be like in a few months. So that hasn't been confirmed. We just know that it's happening soon because they're it's preparing for it. So, And you already know that it is criminally undervalued with one plus exa hash and over 3,000 Bitcoin huddling. So now... This makes sense with the 500 million i was expecting them to uh make a public offering or private offering soon but i didn't realize they were going to do this and then that would give them the flexibility to just uh do it without having that delay period and uh, just confirm it so now this would it, it feels like it's preparation for the nasdaq listing but also mainly for a big order with which company we don't know yet but they have a partnership kind of partnership with bitfury but we don't like they haven't it's still in the production or uh like it's still in research r d we don't know when it's coming but it feels like a new big order is coming like what uh bit farm has with five exa hash with the uh What's minor? Right, I did do a video, and you can see right here that uh, the prospectus for the order, what minor it could be, and at what, how many units, and uh, the average terahash. So uh, it's most likely M M thirty S plus plus and M thirty S plus. So um, with that order, it might just rule out micro BT. Bitmain also has a order with uh, Riot and Mara, so they have a huge order to fill out there. Uh, that that might rule out Bitmain, uh, Bitmain as well. So we might be looking at Kanan or Bitfury. And Bitfury, we know it might take them till the end of the year for their new. Um, Miner to get ready uh, to get built, so it could be the Av uh, Avalon, Canon Avalon 1246. So we don't know. So hopefully, that news will come out in a bit, uh, maybe in a few weeks or a month or so. But this definitely gives cause or gives us uh, the proper, I mean. This just means that we need to buy Bitcoin, uh, HUD-8. Like, literally, that's just what it is. They're pre preparing for big things right now. And it's still at a cheap price, I would say, because of the value of the company. It's still under a billion, and this isn't Canadian billion. So if you go into HUD, um, into the U.S. side, it's around 900 million. And Riot is at, like, Three, three point eight, almost four billion. So there's a discrepancy. There's a huge discrepancy. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Like, do your own like research. Like, make decision for yourself. You decide if you think it's a good investment. I think Hut Eight is a good investment. I have um, with the, with my chart, the market cap to hash rate. I feel like Bit Bitfarm and Hut Eight is grossly undervalued. Now, if you look at the entire value, hodling and all that, hot eight mud like looks like a much better value at ten dollars Canadian. So, yeah, find that out for yourself. Uh, you know the drill. Like this is just for entertainment. Uh, do your own research, and uh, yeah, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm gonna do the ten x ten k. The 1K to 10K video just right after this, so please check that out. And uh, yeah, also I do hold HUD 8. <laughs> I don't think uh, I needed to say this, but uh, yeah. So HUD 8, I have about 500 shares, and average price 
everything uh, comes out to about 8.43 it's a bit high but that's dollar a dollar average cost that's the procedure I've been doing uh, I've been just buying a little bit little um, when it dips so always buy the dip when that happens today is a good opportunity to buy but I just don't have cash to buy so uh, yeah anyways uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one peace